Okay, so today we're at the Southampton Boat Show and we're looking at the SeaTag Yacht Squadron 42, which is the second boat that we've given to SeaTag to give a slight makeover to. So this is a 300,000 pound boat and it's a 50,000 pound refit, um, although you could push it to 60, 70 with some more expensive materials again. It's fascinating how you can turn these old boats into something that looks like new. So let's jump on board it and have a look. Okay, before we start, I've got some new socks, which are from the Beatles. So hopefully you like those. Anyway, Squadron 42, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the boat and I'm gonna explain what SeaTag have done to the boat and all the improvements they've made. I'll also point out some of the extras that the boat has anyway, like this lovely uh, platform lift here, which pops out and lifts your tender on. But this video is more about what SeaTag have done to a beautiful used boat and how they've made it absolutely stunning. So let's jump on board and we'll start with this seat. Now this seat reverses so you can sit that way and this way and near the end of the video we'll show you some clips of before and after but this aft seat was hideous. Now this new aft seat in my opinion is absolutely draw dropping. I don't know if you can tell but it's got a lovely fabric which has got lovely texture to it um, lovely detailing and the two-tone and also a lot of people say well if it's a fabric surely it marks and it, get, if it gets wet it's a problem none of those things are a problem so it is waterproof it's designed to be used outside so got a nice cockpit come in and in here, the boat really, really shines. This has got all new upholstery here. This is, uh, this, if I can pronounce it correctly, this is a Hermes uh, cushion. Um, and I think that is, no, sorry, that's a Hermes cushion. That's a Fendi cushion. So I think what, the, what I've got to try and explain to you is that this has got fabrics that you would normally see on an 8 million or 10 million pound super yacht on a 350,000 pound 10 year old boat. So the smell in here of the beautiful fabrics and leathers, I, it's difficult to portray, but it just smells exquisite. Um, SeaTag totally designed and rebuilt this table and their thinking was, it used to be just a solid walnut table, and we'll show you pictures at the end, but they wanted to make it kind of just flow with the boat and kind of disappear instead of being such a central feature. These sofas here, the customer wanted a third seat here where it used to have a sideboard, um, and SeaTag have done a lovely, they've put the electronics in behind here as well, so you can see. So all the engineering and electronics are hidden under these seats, but it's now made a two seat sofa into a three seat sofa, which is really nice. As we move further forward, this had a really old, actually, I think we've got a bit of it here. There's a bit of it there. It's that kind of fat material. And now they've put this lovely hand stitched, I've been told, excuse me, hand stitched uh, leather which is uh, top, top quality. And I'll explain to you about the leathers. Again, this has been recovered in a Holly Hunt leather. Now, can you just show the quality of, this is all perforated, this is all perforated leather. I mean, it's the, the smell of it, the, oh, that, it just smells so good. Now let me tell you how much this leather costs. You can buy normal leather for 200 pounds for a cowhide. This Holly Hunt's leather is 3,000 pounds for a cowhide. Now this has got one hide on this seat. So it starts to give you an idea of where the money goes and how beautifully made it is. 
and there's another little detail, all the dashboard's been tidied up and cleaned, but if you can just see here at the stitching behind the handrail, this is hand stitched. Just, can you see that? Really nice, um, beautiful detailing. Then into the galley, we have uh, a new fridge, we have a new hob and a new oven, but it's not just a microwave oven, it's a proper oven that you would get on a really expensive boat. So all the materials that are put on the boat and the systems are really, really top end. So walking forward, this boat has got a master forward and it's got a twin to port, no, to starboard, sorry, to starboard. So if we go into the master, this is where it really gets interesting. So if I get on the bed, I don't think I'm allowed on the bed, but I've got to get on the bed. This is a Hermes headboard. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's got lovely detail um, of leather stitched into the headboard. And look at this leather here. This is the Holly Hunt leather, all hand stitched. All this is all new. And if you just look over here, all this is all new and all again hand stitched. On the bed, on the bed surround, can you see the bed surround? This is all that top quality leather too. This is the type of leather that if your grandma bought 50 years ago, this quality, it would still look that good today. It's the absolute best. Now, SeaTag, they're gonna hate me for this. No one's looking. It's even got a SeaTag mattress. Now, let's leave this room quick before they see that I've made the bed, because I can't make beds. Right, bathroom, there's a bathroom here. I won't show you that one, but it's just been cleaned up. Another bathroom there, which you can see is a lovely Fairline bathroom. They've all just been cleaned up. But if I go into the aft cabin, well, it's the kind of starboard cabin. In here, the headboard has been done again. Up here, this is all new headboard with lovely materials. They've got sea tag mattresses again. I don't think I'd have the pillows in, to be fair. I think I'd have, I think I'd have the pillows in. Because, what is that? <laughs> right, but look, it's really sleepy, you sleep like, oh. How nice is that? They're gonna hate me because I've messed the whole room up. But look at all this, it's really nice. And the thing you can't really tell is how good it smells. So let's go up to the flybridge. Okay, so let's go up the flybridge where the detailing and quality continues. And today you can feel my back because I'm not sweating because we're in England. We don't, we don't sweat in England. The first thing I must say is, I do think this boat needs a teak flybridge. Um, the detailing that SeaTag have done is lovely, but the white floor, in my opinion, if you just scan round, I think it could do with some teak. But I'll go through what they've done up here. So we'll show you before and after pictures near the end of the film, but this is all new painted dash. Now this amazed me. This is the original steering wheel. They re-covered it with leather and hand stitched it on. I love it and it feels great. It even smells good. This seat here was just disgusting and now it's got a bolster and the two-tone signature seat with the SeaTag Yachts logo. Again, let's see if it's comfortable. Yeah, yeah, it's comfy. Dash looks brilliant. And then you've got all new cushions for the bow. And just while we're up here, you can just have a, look, we've got, we're at the boat show. There's the Squadron 58 we did. Um, we've got some Genos over there. And um, 
We've got that new spearfish over here, Brandon, look. That new supermarine, which is quite nice, isn't it? Mm. I like that. Yeah. Anyway, all the seats up here have been redone. The table's been sanded, everything's been cleaned. And then you've got this lovely barbecue area that's all been cleaned, polished, and made to look like new. Everywhere you look, it's absolutely stunning. So I think we should go and talk to Chris from Sea Tag Yachts. Um, so here's Chris from Sea Tag Yachts. We chatted last time about the Squadron 58 uh, in Swanwick, and I had a few complaints. Yeah. Yeah, I had a few complaints. They said we couldn't hear your voice on the mic. So I have got a mic. Oh, very good. So we'll have to, uh, I'll talk and then I'll pass you the mic. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We've got the little mic. Okay. So this is the second boat we've given Sea Tag Yachts. And this time you had to work with our customer and listen to their needs and then make the boat exactly as they wanted with your input. Um, can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, this, this, is, this is a perfect boat for us. This is exactly what we want to do. Do you want to hold so this? We had, we had two very engaged customers who loved to get involved in the detail. So we've ended up with a boat that's absolutely to their requirements. They've picked materials that are very, very high end and they've ended up with undoubtedly the best 42 foot fair line in the world. Um, I agree with Chris on this. The Squadron 42 is fundamentally a really solid, well-engineered boat. It's shaft drive, it's got hand-laid gel coat and GRP. Um, but as the boats get to about this age, 10 years old, some of the things just start to look tatty and outdated. And this is a perfect donor boat um, for doing the work that SeaTag do. So um, I showed the customer the boat at our um, Essex site and it, I must admit it took a bit of convincing to say to him, look, um, and we'll be showing you in the, in the background here, you know, what, this, what the boat looks like before and after. But it took a bit of convincing, but um, he was on board and then uh, Chris and his team turned this boat around. Well, I'll let you, you say because you did all the work. This boat, from pickup to delivery, was just under four weeks. Which is... Yeah, incredible. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. And that, the reason we do that is because we're absolutely focused on being able to work all through the year, every year. Therefore, we need to keep people boating. So you can have your boat turned around like this from something that's, that's dull and outdated to something that's stunning and to be proud of in a month. Um, and I know I said this before on the other videos, but actually, um, when we've done refits like this, we've uh, tried to do them in a couple of months or three months, and quite typically it's taken four, five, even six months. So I know I've said this before, but actually to turn a boat round with the level of detail that's gone in here in four weeks is absolutely astounding because there's no compromise in quality. Um, it's just because the SeaTag team have got all these trades and skills down near their HQ in uh, Plymouth and Devon. So the next question I'd just like to ask you, Chris, is what the next projects you've got. We've, we've done the Squadron 58, which you think you just see there, can't you? It's just uh, over there. And now we've done the Squadron 42. I gather you've done a Princess 440. 440 and you've got other stuff. Can you just tell us about other ones you're doing? Well, we've got, we've got numerous boats in the pipeline. You know, this, we're bringing UK focus at the moment. We're talking to the uh, large, larger end boats. Uh, the largest is a, uh, a big 150 foot uh, sun seeker. Wow. Um, uh, the smallest we're on is a, we've got a Hunton 37 coming in shortly for a complete refit and respray. And that boat's going to be stunning because the owner wants it to be an absolute jewel. Uh, therefore, he's fully engaged with the design team. Uh, we've got numerous boats that are between 40 foot and 80 foot. Okay, so a few of you have complained that we didn't show the engine bay on the last um, Squadron 58 uh, Sea Tag refit. So today I'm going to show you the engine bay on this Squadron 42. 
So we just lift up this hatch here. God dear. That is heavy. It must be all that teak. We go down into the engine bay. And the first thing you notice is, I'm standing up, it's quite shallow. And the reason it's shallow is because the freeboard on the boat is lower, which was the fashion at the time, which gives you better sea keeping, but slightly less accommodation. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is engine hours. As boats get older, the hours go up. A lot of people tend to worry about um, engine hours if they go over a thousand. Well, um, I've done some research and actually these modern Volvo diesels, these are 370s, um, have got a half-life of about 20,000 hours. So actually you can see that if you, your boat's done 1,000 or 2,000 hours, actually it's insignificant before the engine needs a rebuild at 20,000. So, um, so long as the boat has been maintained properly and serviced and used regularly, you should have no problem with these engines for a long, long time. So if I grab the camera, I will show you inside the engine bay. So as you can see, it's all quite clean. It's all been cleaned up. It's been serviced by SeaTag. There are the gearboxes there. You've got standard shaft drive, which means the prop shaft there just goes out of the bottom of the boat. My favourite way of propelling a boat, you've got the seawater strainers here, auto fire extinguisher, oil filters and what have you here. It's all very neat and tidy. Um, this boat would do about 28 knots flat out, but 18 to 22 is a lovely cruising speed. So... As you can see, the sea tag treatment goes down into the engineering as well as the cosmetics. Obviously, they're options for you. Um, if you want us to consider sea uh, tagging uh, a used boat, then talk to me or one of my team because this is the second boat we have now actually done with sea tag. So we are experts. Experts. Sea Tag Yachts are at the Southampton Boat Show until this Sunday night, the 19th of September. We're going to try and get this video out on Thursday night so you can see these, this boat um, uh, this week before the show shuts. And if you want to come into the show, you can come and see Chris and, if you're about to turn, the Sea Tag team, <laughs> which, are, which are here to answer all your questions because people have an awful lot of questions about what's included, what's not, where do you draw, and draw the line, and Chris and his team can talk you through all the different options that you've got from spending a little bit of money or spending uh, a lot more money. But one thing I'll promise you is whatever you decide to do, if you give it to these guys, it will be absolutely perfect. And I had a few complaints. Yeah? Yeah, I had a few complaints. They said we couldn't hear your voice on the mic. So I have got a mic. Oh, very good. So we'll have to, uh, I'll talk and then I'll pass you the mic. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. Okay. We've got the little mic. Now you can promise not to. <laughs> Just ticket work, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, we're off. That covers that. Then. That covers that. Yeah. Right, no, but we are actually using it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. No, it's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the.